Alright, what's up Yens guys? Welcome welcome to another narrated uh, instructional video here. Uh, I'm going to be using one of the items you see here. Uh, we're going to do some uh, squat lunges. And we're going to use these items right here, which I'm always using in my videos. Uh, let me get the camera ready here. I just make the videos first and then do a narration because it doesn't work out when I try to yell when I'm doing uh, this stuff. So here we go. We're doing like a squat lunge and this is kind of like the club bell yoga you see uh, Summer Huntington and a couple people doing, you know, which gets real popular. But a lot of us have been doing this a long time, even though it ain't always yoga with a club bell. But... Uh, a lot of what I do cl is classified at that pretty close, but and a lot of you guys that know me already know what we're doing this for, and this is a very important exercise that I don't really d show enough of in my videos, and I have to put the camera down and then up and kind of show you, because I do this quite often. And when you're holding an item, a club bell, in this fashion or over your shoulder, unlike doing barbell squats, it can be easier doing heavier barbell squats than these. When you're, we were holding the club bell, just as you, I was showing you there, and then this way here over the shoulder. Um, it kind of mimics it mimics different ways you got to move and dodge if you were actually wielding a weapon or even a tool. But this is pretty painful doing a squat with one lead foot out this way. And it kind of kills your back if you're doing it with a barbell, for my opinion. And doing this with a club bell is more natural because it mimics use, the use of tools and weapons if necessary. And if you're into the uh, martial arts or the medieval uh, renaissance martial arts for fun, fitness, and what have you. These are very painful and it's better, in my opinion, to do it with a barbell because you're... It's more natural when you're allowing your getting in the habit of your lead foot and your legs to move independently. If you had to run, sidestep real fast, jump and dodge and all that stuff. And um, if you do the movement like uh, you see here, like I see some people with a barbell on their back, for my opinion, it kind of hurts your back a little bit because, well, if you're doing a one-legged lunge like with one lead foot out with a barbell on your shoulders. Uh, I, my opinion, that should be just for the classic squat with no lead foot forward. You have to excuse me there. I don't know how much noise is getting in the background. I have some people outside with dirt bikes and uh, quads. Dirt bikes and them uh, quads out there. They gun the engines pretty good. I don't know how much of that's getting in the microphone, but... Yeah, anyway, you do a barbell on your shoulder, it should be just the classic squat rack thing. And not the lead foot like I'm doing with a barbell, because, yeah, it, it's worse for the balance, and and it not only kills your balance, it's kind of harder on the back. This manner is more natural when you're actually isolating that thigh and that and those calves and the ankle muscles, and this is painful as all hell, believe me. Yeah, and it you will benefit from it if I were you. I'd start out warm up with just body weight with no item on there. Do your stretches without no implement and everything. And then if you start with an implement like I am using, start out with five on each leg. Then go up to ten. Then if you want fifteen, twenty. I'm just doing ten each. You know, in this video right now to show you, just to show the variations, but. I mean, I can do more. Eventually, I'm going to be doing a video with this stuff, what you see here with music. Include some music like before, and I'll be doing maybe sets of 20 or more, you know. But I'm just showing you the variation with the item on your shoulder. Get that shit out of my way for a second. Or held out like the way you were showing, because it mimics holding a sword, a weapon, a tool. Or in a lot of cases, maybe if you're, uh, you can even be holding a rifle and a bayonet some kind of way, if you want to. Well, there's a dozen other ways to hold this, but um, 
it'll help with your running and climbing stuff and everything else too I mean there's a lot of applications there but anyway uh, it's practically self-explanatory um, I hope you get something out of that but yeah I wanted to include that in one of my ex explaining uh, narrated explanation tutorials there uh, hope you guys that know me get something out of it so anyway, see you next time.